Here are five tips for winterizing your compressed air system. Number one, drain the receiver tanks. This is extra important in the winter time because you don't want any moisture to freeze in the tank. The receiver tank should have a drain for maximum condensate collection. If it's an automatic drain, many models have a test button to check to see if it's functioning properly. Throughout the year, you should check the tanks for condensate weekly and drain them when necessary. Keep in mind that a sudden increase in condensate can be an indicator of a more serious problem in your system. Number two, winterize outdoor condensate drain lines and drain bowls. If you have any condensate drain lines that will be exposed to air below freezing, use heat trace tape so they don't freeze. Remember that if your plant is going to be shut down for the holidays or if any of your equipment will be turned off due to lower production demands, your heat tape will not function because power won't be supplied to it. If this is the case, make sure all of the water is drained from your lines. Number three, adjust louvers on both the cooling air inlet and compressor outlet. It's important to minimize the inlet of freezing cold air into the compressor so it can get up to proper operating temperature as quickly as possible. This helps ensure proper lubrication and minimizes moisture formation inside the compressor oil circuit. For the compressor outlet, many applications recover the heat rejected from the compressors. While heat recovery systems vary, the simplest application involves ducting the warm air and recirculating it. During the summer, this warm air can be ducted away from the compressor room to prevent the ambient temperature from rising too high. During colder months, the warm air can be recirculated back into the compressor room to keep the compressor from running too cool, or it can be ducted out to an adjoining room to reduce heating costs. If you don't have thermostatically controlled motorized louvers for your compressed air inlet or your Number four, use cabinet or ambient heaters. Since compressors can be equipped with optional cabinet heaters to preheat and keep the lubricant warm, if this isn't an option for your system, you can also use an ambient heater. Keeping the lubricant above its minimum allowable temperature helps prevent cold starts. Cold starts can cause wear and tear on the motor and air end, and in some cases, catastrophic failure. If you already have a cabinet or ambient heater installed, Check to make sure they are functioning properly and adjusted for the lowest allowable operating temperature recommended by the compressor manufacturer. Number five, clean and rebuild the separators and drains in your system. Many plants reduce production over the winter months or holiday season, making it the perfect time to clean and rebuild valves and drains. Many valves operate with untreated compressed air that carries moisture to the valve body. This moisture can freeze, causing the valves to stick and misfire. Separators and drains in the compressed air system are also susceptible to moisture and should be cleaned and repaired during winter shutdowns to keep condensation from freezing. For more information, visit www.us.kaiser.com.